Cardano network will undergo a significant upgrade in the month of June. The Vasil hard fork is set to take place on June 29th and will bring many improvements to the blockchain. Named after the Bulgarian mathematician Vasil Debov, a prominent Cardano ambassador and Ginkgo tree enthusiast who passed away recently, the Vasil hard fork will bring numerous upgrades to network capacity and Cardano's smart contract programming language, Plutus, which enables Cardano decentralized application development. Vasil aims to tackle different areas with major updates to network throughput, improvements to the Plutus smart contract language language for DAP developers, reducing the latency of block transmission, and the introduction of diffusion pipelining to the Cardano blockchain. Along with the Vasil hard fork, there are a number of Cardano improvement proposals which are ready to be implemented to the network. SIP31 creates a new way for developers to reference an input, allowing them to look at the result of an output without having to spend it. Datums in transaction outputs provide a way to store and access information on the blockchain. However, they are quite constrained in a number of ways. Most notably, in order to access datums information, you have to spend the output that the datum is attached to. This requires the recreation of a spent output. In practice, this throttles some applications to one operation per block, thus decreasing the desired performance. This is where reference inputs come in. SIP31 allows looking at an output without spending it and recreating creating it. This means multiple dApps can read from the same datum at the same time. This optimizes transaction throughput and increases concurrency. SIP32 allows datums to be attached to outputs instead of the datum hashes. Currently, datums are not stored on chain. They are stored as a hash of it on chain or a fingerprint of it on chain. And it's up to the developer or the user to include it when they're interacting with a script. With SIP32, users or developers will be able to actually store the data on chain, moving much closer to a truly decentralized architecture. SIP33 allows reference scripts to be attached to outputs, so the reference scripts are used to satisfy the validation requirements. These Plutus reference scripts will, in turn, make transactions smaller and make the validation process more efficient. SIP40 involves collateral outputs which improve the transaction validation experience. Currently, if a transaction fails validation, you would lose the collateral reserved for such situations. Collateral is required while submitting a Plutus transaction and it's there to avoid DDoS attacks. With collateral outputs, just enough collateral will be included in your transaction for it to go through and you cannot lose collateral funds by accident. The implementation of these SIPs will improve network performance. At the same time, they'll change many of the ways Plutus is used today. Many of the developers currently operating on Cardano will have to learn these new concepts. Another upgrade that will occur with the Vasil hard fork is called Diffusion Pipelining. Diffusion Pipelining is an upgrade towards block propagation time, important to improve network scalability as the Cardano blockchain sees more dApp deployment. The core of Diffusion Pipelining is to have blocks be transmitted without full validation while at the same time making changes to the consensus layer to improve block propagation across nodes. The main information that must be preserved for propagation is the block's header. Basically, all the metadata associated with the block and the hash referencing the previous block. The body of the block is preserved on the metadata contained in the next block, so that would make the network resistant to DDoS attacks even without full block confirmation. The update will also lead to an increase in the size of the block, which would give much more space for data to be saved into each block added to the ledger. The final result is that these combinations of improvements and optimizations will lead to a much faster and scalable network. Essentially, the focus of the Vasil hard fork is to improve the Cardano network for all of its users and also upgrade the development experience for Cardano developers using Plutus to create their decentralized applications. The development of Cardano is an ever-evolving process and the community behind the project is stronger than ever with more than 5 million NFTs now minted on the platform, hundreds of working dApps, and thousands of engaged and passionate stake pool operators maintaining the network. Thank you so much for watching. If you hold ADA, please be sure to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more Cardano content, and we will see you in the next video.